Halloween is drawing near, and many kids are gearing up to enjoy some treats. The question is, how much candy do we let them have on Halloween night and beyond? Alicia Huck shares some advice that may just surprise you. The costumes may be fun, but Halloween candy is where it's at, and kids can't wait to dig in. Part of the magic of Halloween that first night is overindulgence a little bit. While your child may get a little hyper and maybe feel a little icky, dietitian Rachel Iverson suggests allowing our kids to overindulge on Halloween night, within reason, of course. You know, when we start rationing night one, we kind of create this sense of urgency around eating the candy. We're going to eat it, we're going to hide it, we're going to sneak it. Um, and if you're like, you know, you have have what you want tonight and then you know but remember the more you save the more you get to eat later too we all overindulge from time to time and iverson says it's an important lesson for kids to learn on their own teaching them to pay attention to their bodies and how they feel when we label foods as junk or bad or you know just things that have negative connotations we're associating a sense of guilt with eating those so when we say you know this is a food that that's good for my soul versus this is a food that's good for my body or we can kind of you know there's a time and a place for this and after a night of indulging put the candy in a bin and make it part of future snacks or meals Iverson says while we don't want to refer to candy as junk or bad food, it's important to pair the tasty sugary treats with something healthy. If I have candy and I pair it with a pack of almonds or again some peanut butter and an apple, I'm stabilizing the impact of my blood sugar. So instead of this high and this big dip, I'm getting maybe more like rolling hills and that helps us feel a lot more energized. We're kind of regulating our energy throughout the day and that just really helps us to be able to do all the things we need to do and to enjoy candy more regularly without going crazy. And parents, be sure not to deprive yourself. Maybe get a little extra candy to indulge in and just be sure to grab that cheese stick while you're at it. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Alicia Huck. And make sure you tune in tonight at 10 for some tips on how to spot signs of tampering in your kids' candy.